Hi, I'm Grant Price, Product Manager for CircuitWorks brand of PCB repair and prototype products. Today I'm going to provide directions on how to apply thermal paste to a CPU. Thermal paste is called a lot of names, including thermal compound, heat sink compound, and thermal grease. Its job is to fill the gap between the heat generating device, most commonly a CPU, and the thermal transfer device, or mechanical heat sink. Why is thermal paste needed? CPUs run very hot, and that heat needs to be transferred to the mechanical heat sink so it can be dissipated by air, water, or refrigerant. The problem is, even though the surface of the integrated heat spreader, or IHS, over the CPU and base plate of the heat sink appear smooth, there are actually microscopic imperfections. These imperfections trap air, and air is a great insulator. A great thermal paste can withstand years of heat cycling without pumping out of the area that it was applied, and without separating. Now let's get to the directions on how to apply thermal paste. Step 1. Set up your work area. CPUs are extremely static sensitive, so you'll want to start and finish the job in one sitting. Any movement to get up and get tools and materials increases your chance of generating a charge. Ideally, you want to be grounded with something like a wrist strap and have the PCB on a grounded work surface like an ESD safe work mat. Step two, if this is a rework or repair project, remove the old paste. Old paste has generally been there for a while, so it is often hardened and difficult to remove. You first have to scrape off as much as you can. I recommend a wooden pick of some sort. Wood is static neutral and less likely to scratch the surface. Be really careful not to scratch either the surface of the IHS or the base plate. Next, you'll need to clean any remaining old paste with 70% or higher isopropyl alcohol. Have your wipes ready before you get started because you don't want to take a chance of generating static handling a tub or other packaging. A lint-free cellulose or cellulose blend wipe is a better choice than a pure synthetic material, which has more of a tendency to generate static. Rub gently but firmly until all the paste has been removed. Step four, apply a small bead of thermal paste. Apply a bead that is somewhere between a grain of rice and a pea. You need enough to spread over the surface of the CPU, but not so much that it oozes out from over the edges. Let me demonstrate with a slide over the CPU. See how just a small amount spreads out evenly? Don't try to spread it. Let the pressure of the base of the plate spread it out for you. You otherwise run the risk of creating bubbles. Next, apply the mechanical heatsink directly over the top of the CPU. Hold the heatsink down with light, even pressure as you attach. You don't need to wiggle it to spread out the thermal paste. The pressure of the heatsink should be enough to do the job. If there are four fasteners, attach them catty corner to each other, like in an X pattern. If you make a mistake, remove the heat sink, clean off the thermal paste, and start over. Wet paste removes easily with isopropyl alcohol. I hope this demonstration was useful to you. If you run into any problems, feel free to call or email us or go to Chemtronics.com.